Mace the Dark Age is a 1997 early N64 fighting game published by Midway but developed by Atari. On a console which is renowned for lacklustre fighting games, how does this promising fighter deliver? Let's take a look. <laughs> fighting games are not known for having the best stories behind them and in Mace the Dark Age it's no different. The basic story is that the game is set in the Middle Ages when a powerful wizard created the Mace of Tanis, a weapon which would give its owner immortality and unlimited powers. As the powerful wizard is the final boss, it begs a question. How can you defeat him if he has unlimited power and immortality? But if you want a storyline, go play an RPG. This game is all about action, so let's dive in. Coming from the publisher Midway, you would expect this to play a lot like Mortal Kombat. This is not a bad thought because the games share many similarities. They are both violent, have a nice character set and you perform fatalities to finish off your opponents. To be honest, that is where the similarities end. In Mace the Dark Age you select from 12 characters, kit it up with awesome weaponry and do battle in varied environments. One of the main things I loved about this game was the range of characters. As the game is set in the Dark Ages, you have an assembly of warriors from across the world and not only this but they have characteristics of the country they are from. England has its skeleton knight, Scandinavia has its viking and so on. Each of the characters feels different to play as and learning your playing style will help you select the best character. Some of the characters are weak but lightning fast, whereas others are slow and heavy but have powerful attacks. The game also has a strong counter system when mastering is really key to getting up in the higher levels. Considering the game was quite an early N64 title, the graphics are fantastic. Not only do the characters animate well, but the environments look alive and are totally interactive. Fall off the edge and you can continue the fights in the water, lava, or even be hit by swinging axes. There are also occasional items on the floor that you can hurl at your opponent. For those who aren't aware, Mesa Dark Age was actually an arcade game running on the 3DFX Voodoo processor. This was much more powerful than the N64, however when you see how well the conversion to the home console went, you've got to be impressed. The game does have occasional slowdown however, for the best part it's silky smooth, and even now is potentially the best looking fighting game on the N64. So we've talked about the good, but every game has its bad points, and sadly Mesa Dark Age has its fair few. Firstly, the controls are bad. They're not terrible, but most fights usually turn into button mashing rather than skilled button presses. The special moves feel fiddly to pull off, and the specials such as fireballs really take you out of the game. The combo system is also weak. The key to longevity in most fighting games is having depth in combos, and learning how to chain huge combos together, that's something that you're not going to be doing in Mesa Dark Age. The sound is also very disappointing. The music sounds muddy and muffled and a basic grunge style rock soundtrack. There is also little to notice when playing it as it all sounds so similar. With the game taking place across the world, I believe Atari missed a great opportunity to have a memorable and interesting soundtrack here. The poor sound doesn't stop there either. The sound effects are average at best. The weapon clashes are a mixed bag and some sound great but others make the weapons and hits sound weak and lacking impact. When you're playing with what are supposed to be some of the biggest badasses on the planet with awesome weapons, you really want to hear some loud weapon clashes and it just never happens. Midway have a history of publishing violent video games and yes Mace is a violent game. The problem is that compared to the 3D fighter everyone wanted at the time, which was Mortal Kombat 4, Mace just doesn't live up. The fatalities or executions as they are known in Mace are a mixed bag, and like some of these, they're just plain awful. Mace of Dark Age is a really tough game to review. 
On the one hand, I wanted to love it, and I remember thinking it was great back in the day. The problem is that despite the fantastic graphics, the game hasn't aged well at all. This could have been totally different if there was a more robust combo system and tighter controls, but instead, what we are left with is a beautiful, yet flawed fighting game. I still think this is a game you should check out, however don't expect too much going into it and you should be fine. So what are your thoughts on Mace the Dark Age? Did it fill your fighting needs until Mortal Kombat 4 came along, or do you think it's one of the best fighting games on the system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time.